Hi, my name is Thomas. I'm an aspiring game developer. Um, I had this idea to put some videos on YouTube and to do one every week or so that would talk about what I'm doing to learn C++ and the SDL library and game programming in general so that it would sort of keep me accountable, you know, so that every week I'd have to go and show that I learned something. That way I can't really screw around with it. Um, I ha my goal is to become a game developer and do this for a living and be an independent developer. You know, if all else fails, I can get some soul-crushing job in a cubicle somewhere, slinging out code, or I can join a uh, professional game development studio, possibly. So, anyway, what I'm doing is every day, I'm going through some tutorials. Well, I'm doing a couple things. One is I got this book. It's by the guy who created C++, Bjarn Strip. I don't know how you pronounce that name. I'm sure I got it wrong, so I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm also using Lazy Foo's tutorials on the SDL library and I'm sort of just throwing them together and whipping up some programs and learning things bit by bit. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that by doing this, one, I can be helpful to other people who are also doing this and they can sort of see what I'm doing and take bits and pieces and hopefully it'll be helpful to you if you're also doing something like I'm trying to do. Also, I thought it'd be good to get some feedback from people on YouTube that are also into game development and hopefully they can provide me with some information as to what I could be doing better and some encouragement and some motivation. So in these videos I'd like to show you each week how far my engine is and what my programs I'm writing are and then you can give me some feedback, you can take bits and pieces for yourself if they're helpful and you know just share some code examples around and and uh, take it from there. Um, so I've started with a very simple program to sort of explore the basic parts of the SDL library. So what I've got is I have a program that will actually initialize everything, draw a window onto the screen, and then it's going to wait for you to press any of the arrow keys, and then it's going to show text with a true type font telling you which key that you've pressed. And then I've got all the headers included here. I've got the, the uh, default SDL one that has all the basic SDL functions. I've got SDL image, which actually lets you load images that are in formats other than BMP. I was using that in some of the previous tutorials for things like uh, the color key tutorial and the one that lets you use a sprite sheet and clip it out into different individual sprites. I've also got TTF, lets you work with fonts, and these are just some standard libraries that I'm using for you know other stuff like strings and uh, error reporting, crap like that. So um, I set up my surfaces just like in Lazy Foo's tutorials. Uh, the background, the message, and the screen. The screen, apparently, from what I understand, is like the default backdrop of everything. And then the background is a background image, which is a PNG file. And then the message is going to be the layer that the text is going to go on to. Now, uh, my screen parameters, obvious enough, if you've been following the tutorials, I got my dimensions and everything. Then a couple declarations for the font and uh, the color of the font, which is a nice green, which shows up on the background. And then I've got a couple of header files that I created. This first one, errorreporting.h, that just allows me to actually put something out to uh, a file in case there's a problem. This book that I've been reading really stresses that you should, you know, do things like that constantly throughout your programs. And it used to be the code first and ask questions later type, but I'm really coming around to this approach because it saves you a lot of effort. Um, also, this sdlfunctions.h file. Let me show you that, if I can. These are just functions that initialize SDL. They clean up SDL at the end of the program. Um, and there's one for loading an image. There's one for applying a surface. Wait, applying a surface to a surface. Yeah, for, for blitting images onto a surface. And uh, one that I made, actually, for using a true type font to display a message. This was pretty fun to do because in Lazy Foo's tutorial, he didn't actually have a function for this, he just put the code right in the main um, part of the program, main function, and I didn't want to do that because I knew I'd be doing this when I create my game. I'm going to want to throw text all the time. I mean, whether a character's talking, or it says level one, or it's giving you the backstory, or whatever, there's, you know, there's going to be text all the time. So I figured for now I'd, I'd uh, make a function for that and then perhaps it would be more useful at a later time. Okay, so main program, I'm initializing SDL and you can see all of my lines pretty much have this report error uh, line after it. And you can check the API for SDL, which is just a bunch of documentation that describes all the functions that are part of SDL. 
the API will tell you if a function returns, uh, if it's Boolean, or if it will actually return 0 or minus 1. So you can use those to, uh, to check for these errors. More on that in a sec. So my function um, is a bool function, so it's actually going to return me true or false based on whether or not it worked right. So in this case, if I couldn't initialize SDL, it's going to report an error. The um, function actually has some error reporting inside of it, like a bunch of error reporting, so that's kind of redundant. Um, anyway, so load font, here we go, we're loading up the font. Again, we're reporting an error if the font is equal to null loading and applying the background. So we're loading the background image and it, it took me a long time to realize that I had to put that image inside of the folder that my final executable goes in. Um, so on a Mac you want to watch out for that. Uh, so we're loading the file, reporting an error if there's no file there, then we're just applying the surface. So we're applying this background to the screen and then the background magically appears. And so then we're going to update the screen using SDL flip function. And it's going to go ahead and do everything that we've done is going to then appear on the screen, basically. Now we're testing for events. This is the part where we're saying, all right, all our stuff is set up. We're good to go. Now we're going to begin actually running the program. Now that all of our window and display related stuff is, is taken care of and initialized. So we're testing for events. So we declare an SDL event. Then we're um, actually, we're instantiating a class there, I believe. And then we're creating a variable called done, which technically this could be a bool instead of an int, I think, now that I'm looking at it. So while we're not done, we're going to do all of this stuff here. Now, basically, that, ver that, that while loop, while we're not done, at some point, we are going to set it to done, and that's going to exit this loop and exit the program. So that's what that's there for. Then we're going to handle events. So while we're polling for events, basically we're saying, okay, whenever there's an event, do all this stuff. So we're saying if the event type is equal to mouse button down or the event type is equal to SDL quit, done equals true. What that means is that if you click a mouse button within the window or you close the uh, close button on the window, which is the SDL quit event type, then done is true. This while loop exits and then the rest of the program continues and cleans up and ends. Now the other half of this uh, if statement here, if event type equals key down, meaning if a key was pushed down, we're going to go to a switch statement. So based on which key was pressed, up, down, left, or right, we're going to use the display message function that I created and display using the true type font onto the screen. So for example, if up was pressed, the display message is up was pressed. So basically all this program again is doing is that use your four arrow keys and it tells you which one that you pressed. This is going to be very helpful when I have a character that I need to move around on the screen to make jump or walk or do whatever. I mean, I need to be able to handle input. So this is sort of a proof of, of concept thingy for me to learn how to handle input and just get some practice in. So once this, you know, this is, this is happening as long as we're pressing buttons. Uh, if we click the mouse or hit close, it's done. So this loop will exit. It's going to go down here to free the surface, background, and message. Am I missing one there? Do I have to free screen? I don't know. That's a good question. All right. Uh, we're going to close the true type font. We're going to quit that. And then finish is just going to run cleanup, which is a function in my SDL functions header file. And basically, all that that's going to do is just quit SDL. So why did I put that? Okay, I think I made a separate function for that in case I needed to do anything else. So for example, all of this stuff could go there, but it's kind of specific to this program, so I didn't bother. And then we return. So there we go. We're all done. Pretty impressive, huh? Yeah, right. Well, this was helpful for me to actually learn what the hell I'm doing. And now I can go forward and continue to do some more of these tutorials. But um, I'm going to put links to all of these files, uh, my header files and my main program in case you find it useful as well as links to um, Lazy Foos tutorials and stuff like that. You can also follow me on Twitter if you're interested in finding out um, what I'm doing with this on a day-to-day -day basis. So anyway, hope to hear from you and get some encouragement. Be nice and uh, good luck with your game development if you're doing it. Take care.